Now, I haven't seen one of these machines before, but you might have seen one at Jaguar Land Rover or Harley Davidson. It's a multi-center. It's actually a method, and you built the machine around the method. So tell me what that is. Yes, we go to customers and uh, propose a flexible production method, which is our approach to produce what you sell without building huge stocks and for this having more cash in your bank account because less stock is less more cash. Always music to engineers here. So this machine then, how many spindles, how many tables? Yes, it's a flexible machine, has uh, four pallets, one for load and load and three work spindle. So this Three spindles speed up your productivity, but at the same time, it is studied to be introduced in a lean manufacturing concepts. That means you can change quickly what you produce in order to respond real fast to the market. And that's why you can avoid building uh, stocks. And this is what is written on the book that I translated in 10 languages. And on the book, describe step by step what are the advantages of the flexible production method. So just to clarify, part of that flex flexible production method, method is the fixturing of, this, of these machines because it's very simple, easy to change. So I'm thinking you're doing big batch runs, but it's not. You can do small batch runs, be really, really efficient. Yeah, the key is to keep a, a simple fixture and especially a quick change over. That means uh, if the fixture is uh, simple, it's also less expensive and fast to change over. So this is one of the key, and this is how your batches can go real small because it's fast to set up. So we sold the idea that in 15 minutes you can change over from part A to part B. Oh, okay. And in this machine here, you're doing what operation? You're doing roughing and all, all the way around? What, what operations are you doing? Yes, you start to load your rough parts, which will shift to the first station. Normally in the first station, you start to do all your roughing operation. Yeah. And then you move over to the second station, where the, we, will be the semi-finishing and up to the end, to the third station, you do all the finishing. So it's divided to get the productivity. Okay. Excellent, that's just a brief insight into the multi-center. Thank you very much. Thank you to you.